guys, Sierra here. This week's video, I'm gonna be doing a video on the different types of friends. I got this video idea from someone at my school, actually, so credit to them for giving me this idea. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I do have videos every Friday. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So, let's get started. First one, the fake friend. This friend, they're pretty fake. They're, like, nice to everyone, but they also talk so much behind everyone's back and like that probably doesn't make sense but like they're really fake too and like you can feel their fakeness they're like oh my god hi and are just like really <laughs> okay second one on my list is the dramatic one this one makes a big deal about everything and i mean everything like They'll be short one ice cube in their coffee and they're throwing a fit. But yeah, the overdramatic one makes a big deal about everything and anything that they can. Then we got the comedian. This one, this friend is probably one of your best friends. Or like the people that you would consider one of the best people. I don't know. I have a thing for funny people. But this person is always going out of the way to make some joke about the stupidest stuff, honestly, but they're still, like, great people to have around. Like, especially if you're feeling down, like, you need these people in your life all the time just because they're, they're pretty great. The clingy friend. This friend you probably don't even consider a friend or even, like, that seems really mean. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean. It's just they're a little clingy at times. They, like, always are trying to leech on or invite themselves to events that you really don't, don't want to do with them or associate with them. And they still keep doing it. And you're like, I mean, you don't want to be a mean person about it either. Like, you want to be nice. You want to be like, oh, yeah, sure, let's, let's hang out. I never like to make plans with people because I feel like they're going to get annoyed with me. So I just wait till people make plans with me. I don't like to annoy people with my existence so next off we have the moody friend this friend is always having something to be upset about or make a big deal about but they're always moody and it's just like never a good time to even talk to them are they a friend probably not but you're still nice to them because you don't want to get on their bad side Next off, we have the friend that gets around. And if you don't know what that means, you're probably not old enough to know what that means. But they get around. But this friend probably gets around with everyone and anyone, really. Like, if you're being honest. They might not even be a friend, to be honest. They just might be someone that you, like, see. The athletic friend. This friend is probably always in athletic clothes. Um, Their hair is probably always up or braided. We probably all know of or have a friend that is is the athletic friend um nothing's really bad with it like you do you you do sports next off we have the friend that's the partier this friend probably has all the connections to all the parties at all the times they're crazy but this friend they're different next off we have the rich friend the rich friend that brags about everything they have and likes to put out that they're rich all the time they always like to flaunt their money or talk about their rich family and how they come from this and this and this and this and this and they have this and their house is this freaking huge and has touch screen locks. I don't even know. They make a big deal about them being rich and all this stuff. Lastly, we have the annoying friend. This friend, you probably feel bad for, her, honestly. But the annoying friend, like, they're annoying. They probably, I don't know. I'm just thinking of someone that is kind of annoying at my school. I mean, he's cool too at times. At times. Gotta put that out there. But he's really annoying at most of the time. And he like will tease you on anything and everything that he can. But yeah, like, um, he's, he's funny at times. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you know any of these types of friends or acquaintances that you do have or know, comment which one of them that you know of or comment what one you are. Feel free to comment down any of them below and also comment down other types of friends that you know of that I did not mention in this video. Also, if you like to comment any video suggestions that you may have for future videos. If you'd like to get to know me better, you can follow me on any of my social media sites like Twitter, Instagram, add me on Snapchat. All the links will be in my description. Yeah, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys next week. 
credit to them for giving me this idea. People at my school know about my YouTube. I don't know how to feel about this. You know, it's all, it's all good. I just feel judged constantly, but it's okay. It's okay. I don't even know if you consider them a friend. It's more like acquaintance. These are the types of acquaintances that you experience in life, like work, school. Okay. Uh, that was the fakest laugh ever. Wow. Okay, Sierra. Sports. I don't do sports. Thanks. I'm probably just describing people. I don't know if I'm describing friends, but you know, I'm trying. I'm gonna be an astronaut.